Hey, what's this? <gasps> yes, I'm starving. Hey, no, that's for dinner. Relax, professor. It's not like I'm gonna eat the 10% you actually use. I need 100% of this. <sighs> and you're referring to the myth that we only use 10% of our brains. That's right, and it's not a myth, it's common knowledge. It's common. But it's not knowledge. Well, what about him? He's obviously not using more than 10%. Neither is he. <laughs> of course he's using more than 10% of his brain. They're both using 100% of their brain, and I hate to admit it, so are you. I am? Yeah, people use 100% of their brain, just not all of it at the same time. Haven't you seen the movies? People who use more than 10% of their brain unlock incredible powers. Like telepathy. One of you has poopy pants. And telekinesis. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, if we put all three of our heads together, that's like using 30% of a brain. That's ridiculous. The brain is a complicated organ with trillions of connections. It has vital regions that interact and activate depending upon what you're doing at the moment. There. See, you were using your brain. I was? Yeah. You were using your motor cortex. My motor what tex? You use all parts of your brain. Every part plays a role, like here. This is the visual cortex. It gets information from the eye. And then this is the auditory cortex. It's where your brain processes what you hear. This is the somatosensory cortex. Without it, you wouldn't be able to sense what you're touching or whether something is touching you. Here's what we call the homunculus. It's a map of the body's parts in the brain and the parts that are most sensitive take up more space, like the hands and the mouth. Speaking of hand to mouth, can we eat that brain now? No. Remember the motor cortex? The one that you were using when you were reaching? Yeah, it's right here. It controls muscles throughout the body. You wouldn't have reached for it if you didn't want to. Your choice to do that stemmed from the frontal and prefrontal cortex, which regulates decision making, emotion, planning, and logic. Okay, you've convinced me. It's not 10%. So what is it? 12, 13? Imagine if you were only using 10% of your car. Would you get very far? Or if you could only use 10% of an iPad. Hey, I want 100% of my iPad. Or if you could only use 10% of your vision. Okay, son, here comes a fast one. Ah! But if the brain does so many things, why don't we use more of it? You do, just not all at the same time. If your entire brain was activated, you would experience every memory you've ever had. Every emotion, color, smell, taste. Your muscles would seize up. Your brain would overheat and explode. Probably. What about all that potential? Isn't there so much more we could be doing with our brains? Potential is a totally different question. The brain is just like any other part of the body. It needs good nutrition, exercise, low stress, a good night's rest. If you treat it well, it will treat you well. In that sense, people could unlock more of their potential, but not in the way that you mean. You mean I can't telepathically command an army of space goons on the other side of the galaxy? No. You mean I can't use my mind to change the diapers of poopy pants over there? I wish. You mean I can't hug somebody without moving my arms? Sorry, no. Well, I'm only using 10% of my stomach. I'm starving, is it time to eat? Yeah, it's time. Who wants what part? I want the amygdala. I want the stanchion, magra, porsche, compact.